Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Two Opinionated. Well, I'm pretty excited today. I've got singer and actress Savannah Welch. So welcome, Savannah. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I'm so happy. Normally, I screw up names. Just It's just me. I, I don't know why. They just get jumbled up. Yours was pretty easy. Okay, good. I'm thankful for that. <laughs> <laughs> No, it it has been mispronounced. It, it, it definitely has been in the past. Yeah, yeah. Did you did you have any nicknames growing up? Yep, uh, Vanny. I um, like that one. My middle name is Rose, so um, Van Rose is a nickname. Um, a lot of my friends and family still call me. Yeah. You you kind of look like a rose. I'm, I'm okay oh, with that. Yeah, I think that you know, like sometimes you hear somebody's name and you're like. No, that, that doesn't seem to work. But but yeah, I like Savannah and, and Rose both. That's that's nice. It's like, has nothing to do with what I wanted to talk to you about. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been a fan. Thank you so much for doing this. I've been a fan of yours. I I was a, a big Trisha fan, right? Oh. So still am. I shouldn't say I was. <laughs> it's like I don't know what happened to those guys, but I just, <laughs> no, still am. Still am. It was the. Um, Little Sweet Cigars. That was the that was the song I really uh, enjoyed that you guys uh, sang. So there's a couple of things that I, I I'm so excited to talk to you about for a couple of reasons. So one, I used to own comic book stores. So that's how I put myself through school back in the 80s and 90s. So I'm big Teen Titans fan. So you're on Titans this year, huge. And my son Brett, Barbara Gordon. That's his person. That's who he he loves, Barbara Gordon. I was a Nightwing guy. He's Barbara Gordon. So that's one. All right. So second one, um, I was in a horrible car wreck in 2014. And you have been in a pretty terrible accident. And you came back from it. And you're doing all this great stuff. And it's just very inspirational. So I, I was so excited to talk to you for those two reasons. Because one... I've enjoyed watching your uh, recovery and comeback over the last several years because I was like, hmm, if she can do it, I can do it. And then two, you're you're on the Titans. You can't beat that. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, so thank you for being here. Um, I usually start this way, so let's start this way. How did you get interested or how did you decide that you wanted to get into the entertainment business? Hmm. You know, I don't ever remember there being a different path. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, great question. I did I ever, you know, I guess yes. My my mom, my mother is a, a teacher. She's retired, yeah. now, but um, she was a Montessori school teacher. Oh, she, nice. She was a good one, and um, so. I do remember at, at one point when I was younger being inspired about being a teacher. Yeah. There was a time, I think probably when I was a teenager, I thought maybe I'd go into psychology. Um, you know, there were other interests, certainly. Um, well, yeah. I grew up in a, um, a very artist-centric uh, um, family where, right. you know, uh, art and, and music of different forms were um, were really just the norm. Uh, I grew up yeah. in Nashville, Tennessee, and my father's a songwriter and a musician, recording artist, and my older brother's a musician too, and songwriter and recording artist. And I, <laughs> and you had no choice. Yeah, it was just like that's what everybody did, you know, and, and we were kind of in that in that community there in Nashville, um, yeah. which I'm so grateful for. And there were, so, you know, so many talented people that, um, you know, they were just very inspiring. I think my choice to go into acting was a bit, um, not necessarily like in a rebellious way, but um, <laughs> my way of choosing something other than like the family business. You right. Know? So, right. Uh, you didn't get very far away from it though. Whew, I sure tried, but no, I mean, looking back, I'm like, ah, I moved to Austin, you know, uh, yeah. Texas, 
right out of high school. So I didn't, yeah, I didn't get very far. Um, you know, so many of you my, know Austin and Nashville, basically the same place. They're very similar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You didn't, true. you didn't go as, as as when we're younger though. We always think that we're doing something different, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was going far from home. I was like, I was out of there. Um, you know, it's true though that that there are sister cities, and that's in part why I did move to Austin because it just felt like the the natural next step, you know, the next place to be. And um, we, you know, my family knew quite a few people here, and people, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Austin's was, such a such a terrific city. My uh, brother in law. Um, is an ATF agent out there, and, and so we've went to visit a few times, and it's it's just it's beautiful. I mean, it's the traffic's getting a little bad. But. Oh. <laughs> just you know, we heard a, a statistic recently that Austin is the number one um, uh, fastest growing city yeah. in the country over the last four years in a row. Um, so it is not a sleepy little town anymore. No, it is definitely not. Did I read somewhere that you're actually working with um, with parents? You do some education for childbirth, that type of thing? Oh, so uh, when Charlie, my son, was two years old, I um, went through the process of, of getting trained as a birth doula. And so I, oh. I, I do attend birth um, on occasion you know, not often, but, um, I've attended about seven, seven or eight births. Oh, wow. In the last seven years or so. So, and, so what does a, a doula do? Cause you're not, you're not giving the birth, right? Well, the mama gives birth. <laughs> well, right, 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 right. You're not delivering. No, no. A, a doula doesn't do, um, doesn't, um, isn't involved in anything medically at all. Okay. Um, so a doula is just there to provide, you know, emotional support, physical support, comfort measures. Um, oh, it's so important. Help the birth partner kind of know how to support the yes. mother in labor. Um, yeah, it's a passion of mine for sure. It's, yeah, that's that's so great, and it's and that's so important, especially I think the help that you give the partner, because it's it's you know it obviously very difficult on the mother. But the partner doesn't have an easy job either, you know, because they have to kind of maintain their calm in a in a situation that can become a little a little stressful. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's definitely uh, challenging for many people who who just feel helpless, you know, and they yeah. don't know um, if they're not familiar with birth, and and a lot of people aren't. And uh, there's not much that can prepare you, you know, people can tell you about it, but until you're in that position, you really don't know how you're going to respond um, yeah. or how, how your the laboring mama is going to respond. And so uh, it's, you know, I, sometimes we'll work with couples prenatally to kind of help them understand what their choices are so they can make some informed decisions about their birth and, you know, yeah. And, try to stay present, you know, postpartum as well. I think that's really interesting that your, your father's a musician and entertainer. You, you've become an entertainer. Your mother's a teacher and, and you're at least doing something that's educating. I don't know. I think that's, that's really neat. I am. A they did a good job. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. Thank you. I'll pass that along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell them good job. Good job, mom and dad. <laughs> So we have to talk about Titans. This is such a such a big role. I've watched the uh, the first three episodes. I think the fourth one comes out today, but it's yep. still kind of early, so I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. Release, yeah, yeah. But the the they packed so it's like they they said let's do every Batman story all in the first three episodes. <laughs> I've heard That's other people say that they're like, why is this so rough? Um, <laughs> Because a lot happens this season. Yeah. There's a lot in store. So, um, you know, we just, we didn't waste any time. We got right to it. Well, so I guess my first question is, were you a comic book fan growing up? No, I wasn't really. 
you know, we didn't watch a whole lot of TV. I had an older brother, so yeah. that helped a bit. And, um, you know, I, I don't, this will probably date me, but, you know, when we would play superheroes, I was Shira and he was He-Man. Oh, but, there you go. Um, you know, it's funny because he, he and I talked about it and I was like, you know, his name's Dustin. I said, you know, Dustin, were you ever like really into comic books? I just don't remember that. I mean, he's a, he's a boy. So to some extent, like the knowledge of <laughs> is just in his DNA. And that's right. That's right. Things. My son knows about them and I know everything that he watches and uh, he just knows stuff. So, um, you know, he said, no, really around the time he probably would have been getting into comic books, he started playing music. And, you know, it was over after that. Dustin <laughs> started learning instruments and I mean that plural, you know, and he was just kind of off into music. So, yeah, yeah I mean, I had basic knowledge, you know, and, and grew up and, and loved the Batman movies. And, and um, but a lot of this was new to me. Yeah. So have you done any reading since? Yeah, to some extent. Um, you know, what I could find about Barbara Gordon, mostly specific. Yeah. yeah. And did you read The Killing Joke, Death in the Family, any of those? I did. I did. I did read The Killing Joke. It was hard to get a, my hands on a copy. Yeah. Yeah. That's a tough story. It sure is. Yeah. That's yeah, heavy. Um, but it was important. How did uh, how did the role come about? Did did you was it just an audition? Did you not did you know ahead of time what you were auditioning for? Or did somebody reach out to you? Yeah, um, you know, it came through my my agent, and I had an audition. Um, you know, very kind of COVID story here, but I I auditioned in January of 2020. Yeah, so and right before, right right before, and. Um, the initial audition was for the role of an attorney. Um, so okay. I, didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know what the project Sneaky. was. I think, <laughs> I, yeah, I was given some kind of like basic information. This is a TV series and, you know, this would be a series regular role. Um, so, and then I did get a call back in January, um, did the call back and I'm trying to remember yeah, I think I did. They did tell me when, when I was called back what the project was. Yeah. And then I didn't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's another one, you know, I didn't get. Nope. <laughs> that ship sailed. And um, I didn't hear anything until August. And my agent said, hey, Titans wants to bring you back in. And I went, what? Like, that thing? <laughs> uh -huh. you know, and, um, I just, we didn't know. Like, I don't. I guess, you know, we just weren't informed that they, that they had to shut down due to the pandemic and right. did, but um, that they didn't cast the role. And so they, they shut down, I guess, shortly after that callback. And, uh, and then I, you know, I got to, to um, audition again in August. That's yeah, that's, that's pretty great. So I can tell you that, you know, we're, we're geeky guys. So I have been getting, once I set out that, Hey, talking to Barbara Gordon, <laughs> I got, I got a lot of comments of, of you know, our friends uh, that have watched the first three episodes. Everybody yeah. loves you as Barbara Gordon. Oh, everybody. You. Yeah. You're so good. I, I, when you know, watching, um, you're the perfect Barbara Gordon. I think you fit that role. Just perfect. I really appreciate that. You yeah. know, the, the fans are so enthusiastic, so invested. Comic book fans. Yeah. <laughs> Look and, out. And, and I mean, my God, it's, it's really cool, you know, yeah. to get to be a part of, um, of this and, and how, how much the fans really um, care, yeah. I should, you know, and, and um, there is a, there, I'll, I'll, I'll admit it's intimidating. I guess it was intimidating when we first started shooting and I just, you know, there hasn't been a live action Barbara Gordon in some years. So there were lots of conversations with the writers and the showrunners about this character. And, um, 
and the, you know especially her relationship with Dick Grayson and yeah kind of where she's at in her in her life and and how she's meeting this new call you know as commissioner um well a woman with a disability in this you know position of power and um so you know I really didn't know you know I didn't know if after you know the first three episodes people would go this is total shit and this is <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I didn't I really I didn't know I mean I, I was hopeful so it's it is great to hear that uh that you know people are responding well yeah. and that it's it's you know it's the Barbara Gordon that they all want to see so. that it, it really is because love the twist of you know Commissioner Gordon not being there and now you're Commissioner Gordon that's a yeah. little different that was a that was a terrific twist and and the um I think it was the first episode the the confrontation with uh with Bruce that uh, you know you and you and Dick and Bruce are in the in the I guess the, whatever they the study or whatever and, yeah. and kind of had that yeah. had that out really that was really good thank you yep yeah she uh she's on fire <laughs> she's not cutting dick any slack either i mean she's a little you know, rough on nightwing i know she she is right now you know she's yeah. she is not so sure about him being back around there's yeah. there's definitely some heartbreak uh you know that he left in his wake when he left so it's uh, it's interesting because in the in the comics nightwing you know his his big love interests are starfire Barbara Gordon. That's the two. And they haven't really went anywhere with the the Starfire one. You know, she's on the team. But mm -hmm. obviously, you two have a past, which I think is pretty interesting. Yeah, there is a past, no doubt. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. So do you do you tell people, yeah, I'm bad girl? Well, you know, technically, I don't get to portray bad girl. That's okay, though. It's still, that's the character. It's it true. just comes automatically. You're just. Like, I won't say my son goes with that. He yeah, got I could do it, but no. Points, lots of playground points when he got to tell. He had to. to. He had, had to. to. Yeah. <laughs> no, in the, she actually. And here's your question, and I don't know if you can answer it because I know everything. We, as fans, we want to know everything, but still be surprised. So good luck, you know, walking that line. Um, in the comics, uh, after the Killing Joke, she becomes. Oracle. Is that something we're going to see this season? Well, let's see. How, how have I been able to phrase this? In <laughs> um, you know, we do, um, we, we do visit a version of Oracle. Oh, it's good. So, you know, she oracle is not neglected entirely but yeah. um you know it's um it is it is incorporated to some extent yeah that's awesome that's exciting brett will be very enthusiastic about that because that that was that was his question he's like find okay. out find out that <laughs> oh yeah about oracle i know it is it really is it's the hot question yeah that's that's pretty exciting well and you know you never know Birds of Prey is out there. We could, they could spin you off into a whole new series. You know, <laughs> it's like, you know, that's, that's something that they do well. And, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. Yeah. Titans is our favorite one though. There's a, there's a lot of good DC series out. Titans is, is our, uh, is our favorite and you're fitting right in. Well, I'm, of course I'm biased, but I, I do. I agree. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, now we're pretty torn up about this Hawk situation. I don't want to give anything away, but oh god, very upsetting. No kidding. I was yeah. upset when I read that the script. I just went, "Well, this is not <laughs> that's not cool." <laughs> the pages waiting for him to come back somehow. You know. Yeah. Yeah, it was a total bummer. <laughs> Alan is so fun. He's he's so good, and um, yeah. you know. And just he was such an asset to the to the cast. He was a he was a tough one to lose, no doubt. You know he he was um, cast as Aquaman 
Mm -hmm. do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and, and did the pilot for that. And it never, it never took off. It should have, cause he was really good in it. But yeah. now we're really happy that it didn't cause now he's Hawk. Yep. You gotta love Hawk. Oh, you gotta love Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was a heartbreaker. Yeah, it was tough. That was cause you, you just assume they're going to figure out a way out of it. Yeah. This isn't going to actually happen. Yeah. 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 But it did. No. Fun, <laughs> you know. Uh, so let's let's talk a little bit about um, your music because I think you've got such a, a lovely voice. You know what's going on with your music career? My career consists of playing the piano or the guitar and um, yeah. rehearsing wh while nobody's home at the moment. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of where I'm at. I have a whole, I've got a batch of new songs. I'm kind yeah. of trying to decide what to do with. And, um, you Album. Know, yeah, you know, playing live music is a total head scratcher right now. You know, right. people are figuring out how to do it. Um, and, you know, everybody's working really hard to, to do it in a safe way. Um, yeah. But it's just, it just seems like, it's kind of it's a it's a challenge you know so um yeah as of now i'm just i'm i'm not playing live shows at all um i'm just i'm kind of i don't know i'm woodshedding a little bit <laughs> <laughs> but you do right yeah i do yeah and you know um last year during the pandemic before we went to toronto i had quite a lot of downtime, you know, yeah. Yeah. And our lives kind of screeched to a halt. And, um, and so I, I was able to get some songs written, uh, which were, it was great. And I'll just throw this out there that, you know, we could use a theme song. I'm just saying. Uh, you're bored. For your podcast? Yeah. Okay. Noted. Yeah. We've got, you know, we've got, I, I, Brett found the music, you know, it was just the uh, free music they found and, and it's actually really good. Cool. But it's just music, you know, there's no, there's no singing to it. So we need yeah. a, we need a theme song. Yeah. Yeah. Something that makes us look, you know, yeah, too opinionated. Yeah. Too opinionated. So they're just throwing that out there. If you get bored. Good to know. <laughs> Put that on my list. Do you play any instruments besides piano and guitar? Um, in the Trishas, I played a little bit of mandolin. Oh, nice. That was mostly just because we didn't need three guitars on stage at once. And, um, you know, and we needed, somebody needed to learn how to how to play mandolin. Um, Kelly Mickley, she plays mandolin, or did um, quite a yeah. bit in the Trishas. But on the songs when she was playing guitar, I, I, I would uh, play the mandolin. And I enjoy it. Um, I actually, um, my dad has an octave mandolin that I've, I've sort of borrowed permanently <laughs> um, <laughs> from him that I, I love. Um, so I've been messing around on that a little bit. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Did you, uh, did you play in the band in uh, school? No. Really? Yeah, no, I was doing theater and yeah. debate theme and I was a cheerleader debate team that that's probably why you delivered that uh you know roasting of bruce so well <laughs> i have been told occasionally uh that i i would have done well as an attorney <laughs> yeah yeah you could totally have done that that's not true i would have been terrible as an attorney. <laughs> um i can i can uh, deliver a, a point if i need to yeah do you stay uh in touch with the uh band the Trisha girls, yeah, yeah, we do. You know, it, they're like family. Um, yeah, and everybody is kind of doing their own thing, and everybody's really busy and living their lives. But we do stay in touch here and here and there. And yeah, you know, there's a lot of Trisha reunion on Too Opinionated. That's the you know Zoom Zoom uh, music is the new rage. <laughs> yeah, I you know it, I will say it's it's a it's hard to wrangle all of us these days. But oh um, yeah. But, you know, you that's know. what happens with bands because it's, it's, you know, you've got individuals and at some point everybody wants to kind of do their own thing. Sure. Yeah. Definitely. 
Yep. Yeah, that happens. So I saw you on, let me think, six? Seal, yeah. Seal Team Six? It's just six, right? Six, yep. Yeah, you, your character was really good in that. Thank you. Yeah, I really enjoyed uh, the way you portrayed it. It was a pretty good show because it was, it was unexpectedly, I think, on like the History Channel, something, yeah. something yeah. like that, which was a little surprising, but it was a really good show. It was a great show. Um, as far as military dramas go, I, you know, I've heard some of the six fans, um, you know, especially people who are in the military or yeah. in the service, say that it, it they did a, a really good job at just accurately portraying that life. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think so. I think so. And, and they uh, kind of brought that across really well. And it was a good cast. He had a really good cast in that show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, it, now I remember you in uh, the Tree of Life. Okay. And what was the one? Um, boyhood. You were in Boyhood. Yeah. 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 And one one of those you were a singer. And was that was that Boyhood? That was in Boyhood. Yeah. Yep. It wasn't scripted uh, um, it, um, initially. Um, Rick Linklater came up to me that day that we were shooting and he just said, Hey, you know, you play guitar, right? <laughs> um, kind of, you know, this was pre Trisha's and um, like I do when nobody's around. And uh, he was like, cool, cool. So, you know, just like, what are some of the songs that all college girls know, you know, <laughs> <laughs> what are the college girl covers? Uh. You know, and I kind of started listing them and um, and he goes, OK, great. After we break for lunch, we're going to just, you know, shoot a, a verse and a chorus of, of each one of those because we don't know which one we can get uh, the rights for. Yeah. So if you could just do, you know, a verse and a chorus of each one of those, that'd be great. <laughs> I was like, oh, God, OK, <laughs> lunch break, you know, I kind of had to go and and learn a handful of those songs and um anyway so that was that was fun it was super fun it was really casual and and um and you know i, I think uh, the song that they ended up uh choosing was i wish you were here pink floyd and yeah yeah and that was that was fun but yeah yeah, yeah. what was uh, what was your first uh, acting job the first um kind of major role in a feature was it was an independent film directed by Kat Candler written and directed by Kat Candler here yeah. in Austin um and it was called Jumping Off Bridges and I was 20. When oh, wow. I was, mm -hmm. did, did you have to jump off a bridge? I did. <sighs> <laughs> I'm, I'm terrified of heights I couldn't do it. I'm so much more terrified now. I don't know that I could do it now. I was 20, you know, like I got this. It does. It, it gets worse as you get older, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And I, you know, I actually heard a, 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 there, another mother say recently that since she became a mother, her fear of heights and all kinds of things has like amped up. And I was yeah. like, that's what it is. Yeah. I can't be around a ledge of any kind with Charlie without just... Oh you know, almost on my hands and knees. My um, granddaughter is named Charlotte, but we call her Charlie. Oh, that's yeah. sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we know, we know uh, quite a few girls named Charlie. I know it's, I, you know, it's as, it, as soon as they said they were going to call her Charlie, I was like, it's perfect. That's perfect. And when, and when you see her, it's Charlie. Yeah. You know, it just fits her. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty right. cool. So, let me think. Oh, I do have something for you. I had read that you do some podcasting. Oh, you know what? Not like you. I um. Oh, I, go on. I started. <laughs> I started a podcast, which I yeah. I, I am um. I am determined to to get going again. Um, it's called Enough About Music, and I started it before the pandemic. So yeah. Um, you know, I think I, I thought about eight or nine interviews uh, finished and they were all in post-production and then the pandemic hit. And um, this kind of went, I don't, 
I don't know how to do this. I was so used to, you know, doing them in person and really preferred to do the, them in person instead yeah. of, you know, over the phone. And I just kind of said, Let, let's just kind of halt this for now. And then, um, and, and then I was cast on Titans and, and off I went to Toronto. So yeah. um, you need, you need a podcasting partner. No, well, hint, big hint. Okay. That's what you need. You know, we I could I could partner up with you. We could do this. <laughs> They're fun. I really enjoy it. I really well, enjoy I love it. the fact that that uh, what I read was the concept was you had musicians on, but they weren't allowed to talk about music. Yeah. Yeah, they could talk love about it. at all except for their music. I love that. Yeah. It's like a you know, you get to know the get to know the person a little bit. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm. I think I'm running behind for another interview. Oh my gosh! How dare you double book? Oh, I don't. I, I didn't think that this. Just bring them on. Just we'll just do it together. Well, we'll wrap up so that uh, you can. We don't want to hold anybody else up. Okay. That would be terribly rude of me. Well, let me just see what the. Uh... Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't see anything. Wait, was that Emily? It was Emily. Yeah. <laughs> Emily's awesome. She's done. She's been so, so good to work with. She's, she's oh, really, good. yeah. She's so nice. Yeah. Yeah. She's and and, and, uh, I don't know how she does it. She's juggling a lot of, a lot of artists, including, yeah. you know, the, the podcast hosts and, you know how how we can She's putting do. up with all those you know numbskulls like me aggravating her. She's her. very gracious. So, do you have? This will be my last one. Then then we'll wrap it up. Do you have hobbies outside of acting and music? Hmm. Let me think about. Well, that. I guess in childbirth. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah passions like like childbirth and parenting um um i don't know i i enjoy trying out different um different forms of art you know when we were yeah. in Toronto, i got to do uh, uh, some pottery and loved that i mean yeah. i was like i need a i need a, a pottery wheel at my house <laughs> you know i love this um, yeah, into, I've done some beating in the past, and you know, well, you're crafty. I'm, yeah, I guess I'm a, I'm a little crafty. I always have, you know, been a knitter and crocheter. And, you know, yeah, so. my mother crochets, so she'll be glad to hear that. Uh, oh yeah, crocheting. Do, That's yeah. kind of a lost art. You don't have it as much anymore. Not as much. Yeah. I, I think it kind of had a bit of a resurgence. You know, we had a, a little knitting circle going and interrupt oh, nice. casting crew that was it was nice it was like oh you knit too you you know so it was well, I, I have this vision of everybody in their uh, superhero costumes knitting hilarious it's not <laughs> far from the truth there were definitely long days on set when I was just you know in full Barbara Gordon with my <laughs> old sitting there knitting so that's pretty funny that's pretty funny well savannah thank you so much this is this has been uh, so much fun thank you so much for having me it's it's been great to to talk to you and get to know you and, and yeah. uh, you know i uh, i wish you and, and your family all the best thank you so much and you, you have to come back Absolutely. You know, we got we got to hear more oh yeah yeah, well, I need to hear what Brett thinks about uh, uh about everything at the end of the season. Oh my gosh, let me tell you, he will have some opinions. Okay, too some easy. would say too opinionated. <laughs> All right, so last thing before you go, um, do you have anything else coming out that we can keep an eye out for? And where are you on social media? Uh, social media, I'm just uh, Savannah Welch on Instagram. Yep. Uh, I believe my handle on Twitter. I'm, I'm a, I'm still a rookie on the Twitter. Me too. Um, but I believe it's Van Rose Welch. Oh, very nice. Van Rose Welch on on Twitter. Um, so I'm on the Facebook too, Savannah Welch. <laughs> and um, no, I, there's nothing really I can talk about. 
right now. Yeah. But See, that's why you have to come back. That's why. Yeah. That's why. All right, Savannah. Well, hang on one second. I will hit pause. Well, how fun was that? So Savannah Welch, Barbara Gordon, just awesome. As a, as a comic book fan, no way I couldn't get excited about that. I was holding it in pretty good. That was, uh, that was a fun interview uh, uh, for me, so I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you guys so much for coming back to us week after week. I know there's so many things you could be listening to. We really appreciate. We don't take for granted that you choose us uh, over and over. Yeah, th thank you so, so much. Um, if you haven't done so yet, please, please, please go to YouTube, MeisterCon Pod, and subscribe. We would really appreciate that. You can also find us at our website, MeisterCon.com. It's got all our episodes, audio and videos. I think we're at 260 or so now. Hundreds of terrific interviews that I know you'll find somebody uh, that you really like. They're, they're so good. Um, there is a terrific blog by Brett. He's such a good writer. It's so well written. It's funny. It's geeky. Check that out. And it also lets you know of any upcoming conventions or shows that, uh, that we have. Thank you so much again. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks to, uh, to Savannah. She was absolutely a delight until next time. Bye everybody.